Welcome everyone. And here's your breakdown of the new training plan that we're getting ready to move into. This plan is very different to everything that we've been doing in the past. So uh, what you need to do is on a weekly basis, take a strict look at what we're going to be doing for the week and what is needed. A couple of things up front. So what you're going to need to bring with you on a daily basis is both your lifting shoes and your running shoes, because we'll be doing a version of either sprints during some workouts during the lifting days, or you're going to be ruck marching with a run follow the, that ruck march. So look ahead to what you're going to be doing on that day and make sure you have the proper amount of the proper equipment with you. Um, so let's look at this week, what we're going to be doing. And what you see for this week is going to be very similar to what you're going to do for the next six weeks, or which is the first 25% of this build. So like with everything, you're going to have a, uh, you're going to have a, a dynamic warm up, but it's going to be very different to what we've been doing. So you're going to have some explosive work, you're going to have some dynamic work. Uh, you're also going to have band work with it with it as well. And for the most part, towards the end of each of the warm ups, you're going to have a type of sprint as part of the warm up to start working on that muscular power generation and neuromuscular activation. Secondly, is we're going to be doing a lot more power work than what we've been doing over the past two builds. We've been developing your strength and power and what we're going to do over this next 13 week is, is put it all together. If you've been noticing, you've been doing a lot of hamstring lengthening, posterior chain lengthening type of movements like trap bars, RDLs, uh, sled pushes, sled pulls, little things like that. Now we're going to start putting it all together to really kind of help with that power generation. So a lot of, most of you are going to have some position one clean work in there. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I will work with you. And then followed by a, um, by a complex uh, posterior chain movement, whether it's going to be a trap bar or a barbell back squat. This is going to be what you see here for what we're going to be doing on January 30th, which is tomorrow, will be very similar to what you're going to do for every Monday for the next six weeks. Moving on to Tuesday. Tuesdays are going to be your ruck march days. These are not very far with not very heavy, but we're starting to build upon uh, time under load to really kind of help with this. And again, with these days, you're going to need to bring your um, you're going to need to bring your marching boots, um, a pack right, as prescribed for this week. It's going to be 35 pounds. And then you're also going to need to be running shoes because you'll have a you'll have a little bit of an aerobic set after each set after each one. With this one, you're going to have a dynamic warm up again with bear claw, crawl, excuse me, bear crawls, uh, kettlebell squats, halos and reverse plank claws. And then off that, you're going to go into slow controlled movements that are going to work on both the, uh, the posterior chain and some of your shoulder movements as well. And finally, you're going to move into full full speed for neuromuscular uh, development and activation to get you ready for that ruck march. With some of these exercises you'll find out within this build, it, you won't know what they are because they are brand new. And so what I've done is I've posted links to the ones that you've never performed before. So before coming into the work, uh, to the workout for that day, I really suggest you to go in and take a look at these to understand what the warm ups are for that day. So for Tuesday, after the warm ups, you're going to have a ruck march four miles at 35 uh, with a load of 35 pounds. This is not a ruck march run or a forced ruck march. I want you to come in at 15 minute average about 15 minutes uh, per mile. So it's just working on time under load. After that, you'll come in, you've got some calisthenics you're going to work on, and then you're going to have a cool down jog. So just kind of work on cardiovascular endurance under while you're fatigued. That's going to be your Tuesdays for the next six weeks. Wednesdays are going, again, are going to be resistance training. Again, you're going to have some more, um, you're going to have some more dynamic warm ups with items that you've never seen before. Again, the links are posted on it and you'll be able to see what it is. If you have any questions, we, I'll definitely explain what they are during our initial in-briefs. On Wednesday, again, a little more power development with a lot more, um, with a lot more of explosive movements along with your, so instead of a complex movement like you did on Monday with the back, with the back squat, you're gonna be in trap bar jumps, followed by some more um, leg work, posterior chain work, upper body, and then moving into sprints. So ensure on Wednesday you bring your running shoes with you. On Thursday is a little bit of a lighter day. It's an endurance run day uh, with 
with the two mile target pace from almost everyone, this should be a upper zone two, low zone three at an 830 pace. Um, and then you'll go into a little bit of a body weight uh, circuit for a little more calisthenic work. But again, as of right now, Thursdays are going to be a little bit of a lighter day, but cardio focused. Fridays is, is a heavy day. You go in here, we work on a little bit of power development, and then you move into several, um, several complex movements, followed by some grip strengths at the very end. These grip strengths will change throughout the build, but this will be a similar build that, excuse me, a similar workout that you'll do every Friday for the next uh, six weeks. And finally on Saturdays is your long runs, uh, long, slow, steady state runs. Right now we're starting out five miles. So what we've got again for the overall is for this uh, new build for the next 13 weeks, starting for this for the first six weeks of this 13 week um, training block, is on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays are going to be resistance training days with some sprints in there, followed by Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays being cardio days. And all your always your Tuesdays will be your ruck days for the next six weeks. Again, ensure to look ahead of what's going to be planned for that day. Make sure you look at some of these uh, new warm-ups that you're going to be seeing. Uh, because you've never encountered these before under our program. Additionally, you're going to need to ensure you bring both lifting shoes and running shoes on a daily basis. I hope you enjoy this new build. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.